today on Be Something Wonderful, what inspired action really means in reality creation. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. One of you commented on the channel that you, that you took what you believed to be inspired action with something to do with a, a specific person that you were uh, working on manifesting in your life, working on attracting in your life. And you said that it created un an unwanted reality, it created circumstances, negative circumstances. And so you were, you, you were wondering what action should you take and, and what about inspired action? Well guys, we're gonna talk about this today and more. I've talked about inspired action before and I left a couple links to other videos, but today we're gonna to take it to a whole new level. Here's what I wanna say, and I've said this before, but never like we're gonna talk about it today, that action does not create reality. Focused thought does. Remember, all thoughts create them. And in the thought of anything, in the desire of anything, it's created on some level or some plane of existence, in some alternative reality. And when you continue to focus on that thought, that then becomes a manifested reality in 3D. Hear this, I really want you to hear this. 99.99999% of, of what you want and desire is already a manifested reality before you see a shred of evidence of it in 3D, right? That 0.00001% is created from focused thought. And any action that you do take is simply to enjoy that already manifested reality. I really want you to hear this because, because when we really get, get to this, action doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you do or don't do. It matters who you're being. It matters what you've created within because that's what gets created. I'm going to show this to, to you today like I've never shown it to you before. Action doesn't create reality. Focused thought does. So neither inspired action or any other action. And really, what is inspired action? Inspired action is simply in action based out of love, right? Inspired by love. Any other action that is not, that is unlike love is inspired by fear. That's the only difference. There's really only two types of actions. Actions that are inspired by your wish fulfilled, inspired by your higher purpose, inspired by your, your desired end. The, the, the desired by what, you, why, by what you really want and desire in your life, out of love. That's inspired action. Everything else is, is just other action, fearful based action. Action from a state of lack, action from a state of wanting something or needing something. Do you hear this? Sometimes inspired action is an, is an intuitive nudge or you get a sign or you get a feeling to do something, sure. But it always feels good. That's really what I want to say. 99.9999% of seen manifested physical reality that you see around you is complete before you see any physical evidence of it in 3D. Everything you see was already completed before you actually had seen it in 3D reality, right? Thoughts become things. You've heard this before. Thoughts are things. Thoughts become things. They've been saying this since, since the law of, law of attraction became the thing, right? Became, became the, the big thing. But what is it really saying? It means it becomes seen. It becomes that 0.0001% of seen reality, right? Which is 100% energy. Right, but that's all it is. When it becomes thoughts already created, 99.99999% is manifested, but it's 100% created, right? All energy is created. It's already created. So it's 100% created, but only 99.9999% manifested if you don't yet see it in 3D reality. That's big. So thoughts become things, meaning the events, people and circumstances, and things be, become seen or become that 0.0001%. Thoughts are metaphysical things. They're 100% energy, right? They're 100% created, but not all of it is manifested. Only 99.9999% is manifested and 0.0001% is manifested in 3D or what you can see 
Wow, that's big. These things are unseen until they're seen. Let me show you this. You're going to love this today. So you have, you have the 100% manifested reality. 100% reality, ultimate reality, which includes everything, all that is. Seen is 0.0001%. Unseen is 99.999999%. That unseen, that, that seen reality, that 0.0001% represents the things in people, events, and the circumstances that you see in the 3D world. Solid things, right, that you believe are solid right? But still, behind those solid things are still an unseen 99.9999% of energy behind it. Do you hear this? 100% is manifested. But what's seen is 0.001%. The unseen part of that reality, the truth behind that reality is 99.99999%, right? And so let's go here. 99.9999% manifested unseen 100% unseen reality. Here it is. Those are the things. See the metaphysical. I have a dotted line to represent that it's unseen. 100% of it's unseen, but 99.99999% of that is already manifested and on its way. It's simply a matter of focus, thought, that brings it the rest of the way. Not action. Action is just to enjoy it, just to, to revel in that. It's the thought. Do you see this, guys? This is powerful. What does this mean? 99.9999% of what you want or what you don't want is already manifested before you see any physical evidence of it. That's a manifestation. You can't see it yet, but that's 100% unseen, but it's manifested. 99.99999% right? And then, you, and then 100% manifested are the things you see, which includes the seen, the 0.0001% and the unseen, the 99999% of energy behind everything you see in the 3D world. This is powerful, right? So seeing it, seeing it, the 0.0001% depends on your focused thoughts, your intentions and beliefs, not on any action or what you do or don't do. It does not depend on it. Actions don't create reality, right? We, we have such a belief that they do that it's based on those beliefs that we think action creates reality, but it's the belief behind it that creates it. That's big. Guys, this is big right here. I really want you to see this because this is the answer. 99.9999%, it's all manifested, but 99.9999% of that manifested reality is unseen. 100% is unseen, right? It's 99.9% manifested, but 100% of it's unseen. And then the 100% manifested includes the seen reality that you call 3D, that you look around, 0.0001%, and 99 now, 0.999% is unseen. Here, it's 100% unseen. Here in 3D, it's 99.9999% unseen. It's still mostly potential. Look around you. The chairs, the, the camera that I'm looking into, this board, that that's, represents manifested reality, but it's only 0.0001% behind that is the unseen. It's mostly potential. Wow, that is big. So let's hit this a little bit more. You your desires, everything is 100% pure potential, source energy, potentially seen reality, right? It's potentially seen. Your body is a man manifestation, that's seen. That represents 0.0001%. But it's also, also made up of that 99.9999% of unseen reality, of unseen potential right? This is big. 99.999% of that potentially seen energy, right, is potentially seen, is manifested before you see any, th th I put thread, <laughs> I meant shred, any shred or thread of physical evidence in 3D, it's already manifested. It's not seen yet, but it's already manifested. 
right? With no physical evidence taken to make that happen. Hear this. So, so if this is true, and it is, that 99.99% of that potentially seen energy is manifested before you, it's unseen, but it's manifested before you take any physical action to see it in 3D, action can't matter. It's not creative. It's not, it's not the important piece. The, what, why do we have action? So we can enjoy it in 3D. So we can enjoy this time construct that we invented. So we can enjoy our manifestations. That's why we're here, right? Do you see this? This is so big. It's so big. Before you see any shred, of, everything's manifested. That energy is manifested. It's, it's already created, right? So 99.99% is already manifested. The other 0.0001% then becomes the seen reality. That's big, right? And, and so no physical action taken in 3D to make it happen. Physical action doesn't matter. And, and no actions required to see it in 3D reality or the 0.001%. Only belief, only focused thought. It's your belief behind the action that creates reality. That's the only thing that matters. That is so big. So action is a way of enjoying which you have already created within while in your 3D experience. That's what action is. It's to, it's to enjoy that inner manifestation. So when you wrote on the channel, I don't understand why these inspired actions didn't create the reality you wanted is because action doesn't create it, right? Inspired action, it can be from intuition. It feels good. It's action done out of love, but it's action to enjoy what you've already created within. Right? So, it, it, so you have an intention, you have a thought, you have a belief. That creates reality. And then that determines the end result of anything you do or don't do. Right? Anything you do or don't do. That determines the end result. Then it's not the doing. It's the creation within. It's the intention of thought, belief. That determines the end result of anything that you do or don't do. So anything you do or don't do doesn't create the end result. It's the intention, the thought, the belief. And really, let's talk about actions. So, so really, there's only two types, right? But I'm going to talk about three types here, but there's really only two types. Actions that are love-based and actions that are fear-based. That's all there is. There's actions out of love, out of abundance, out of the knowing of that I am awareness of who you are. And then there's love of, uh, based on separation from that I am awareness, based on fear, based on lack, based on trying to make something happen in the 3D world, right? Where you're trying to make it, will it into manifestation when really 99.9999% of it's already done. It's already done. So when you take action to make it done, that's why you get the opposite of it, right? That energy, it's already manifested in that unseen plane, right? And then as you focus your thought, you are able to see it and receive it and perceive it as 0.0001% of manifested reality. And the 0.0, the 0.9, the 99.9999% remains unseen, manifested, but unseen the unseen reality behind everything you see in 3D, right? So three types. There's fear-based. That's from lack. That's from need. That's from wanting. That's from fixing a mess that you made within, right? If you don't align within, if you don't create the inner world, a lot of times we take action to fix unaligned thoughts, to fix the mess that we made within, right? So it's action to make something happen out there. It's based on reactions to people, events, and circumstances, right? It's action taken to fix the 3D reality that you created you, by, by an unwanted reality created with it, right? You created an unwanted reality, and then you try to fix it with more action, with more unaligned action. And this, this ties you deeper to the unwanted reality, right? Unaligned thoughts and intentions. You're trying to create from unaligned thoughts and intentions. That's many types of the actions that we're used to taking, right? And again, it, it, they don't create reality. They just keep you stuck in unwanted realities, right? It's your inner state that creates it. That's why, that's the freedom from doing. It's the freedom from action 
because you can free yourself in that moment as you return to that I am this, as you return to your wish fulfilled and what you desire, right? So a messy inner reality equals a messy outer reality. Do you get it, guys? That's it. And then you go and try to fix that messy outer reality by more action. And it just, that's why worse, get, that's why it, when it goes from bad to worse, that's right, we hear this all the time, it just keeps getting worse. That's why, right? No amount of physical action can compensate for lack of alignment with source energy, for lack of focused, aligned thoughts with your wish fulfilled, with your desired end. No amount of physical work can, con that's why you feel exhausted, right? Imagining and trying and forcing it, right? It's done, it, and, and sometimes we just take, take action because we want to feel better and it makes us feel worse. Like you said in the channel, I feel worse. That's why. You can't get from feeling bad to feeling better. You, <laughs> you got to feel good to get to really feeling good, right? And why do you do, how do you do that? By aligning, right? You're only ever feeling what you're thinking. All thought's creative, but not all thought manifests in 3D reality as a seen reality. All thought manifests on some plane of existence. It all is manifested. It's all created. But it remains unseen, part of that unseen reality, until you call it forth by focused thought and alignment with your wish fulfilled or what you want, or by focused fear and misalignment with what you don't want. Hear this loud and clear. And then there's inspired action, which we talked about. It's love-based. It's based on your desired imagine end. It's based on your wish fulfilled. It's based on alignment. It's effortless. It feels good. Sometimes it feels like intuition or, or little nudges, but it doesn't have to. It just feels good. It's not to, and you're not doing it to make something happen. You're doing it out of the sheer joy and inspiration and excitement to do it. Do you hear this? Just like these videos. <laughs> because you already have the knowing that this action is leading you there, right? Inspired actions leading you along the path of least resistance to your manifested desired in 3D. So that's what inspired action there. It's still the idea that you're, you're on your way, but you're feeling the joy of being on your way. You're feeling the conviction, the confidence, the, the unshakable knowing that this action is leading you to everything you want. As opposed to fear, you have no idea. <laughs> so the doors open, right? Doors open. People talk to you. Things flow effortlessly. You don't do it. You, you do it out of love for doing it, enjoying it for the, for the confident expectation of that 3D manifestation. That's inspired action. Then if we were going to have a third type, it would be living and taking action in the end as the end, occupying that identity and taking action from that new identity, from that new reality, from that new concept of yourself. It's like inspired action, only it's not, you're not looking at it as confident expectation on the path of least resistance what you desire. You're already there. It's like acting as if, except you're not acting. It's like faking it till you make it, only you're not faking it and you already made it. That's what this is about. It's already being it. Like number two, you're fully aligned with your imagined end, but instead of the action leading you there on the path of least resistance, you're taking action from already being there. Whew. The elsewhere is here and the future is now, as Neville Goddard says. Wow, taking action as the new identity and the new reality. That's next level acting as if. That's taking acting as if, faking it till you make it, to the next level, to just being it, right? Here's the, and, and here's the most, it's the most powerful, but really living in the action in the end and taking inspired action are powerful together. You're gonna move between those, right? They're both very powerful, but they're, and they're both based on being in love with life, being in love with your desires, flirting with 3D reality for the fun of it, right? Wow, that's powerful. Let's take an example because I know some of you like, you've been asking, Tom, examples, more examples. Here's an example. And I think one of you wrote me on this. I even had a session with somebody that's interviewing for a dream job. 
So you're interviewing for a dream job. Well, if you're interviewing for your dream job and you take action based on fear, what do you do? Based on lack, based on urgency, based on wanting. You study all the possible questions that they might ask. Oh my God, what are they going to ask? What if they find out that I'm not, this is a weak area and that I'm not good at this? You prepare all the answers to explain all your weaknesses. Despite your weaknesses and why you're a good fit, you're going to explain to them why you're still a good fit despite the weaknesses that don't quite match the job. Do you see where your focus is? It's on fear. It's on why you're not a good fit. But you believe you're preparing to say that you are a good fit. Do you hear it? You're taking action with the bogus belief that you're preparing for the interview. I, I, preparing yourself to answer the hard questions why you're right for the job. Right? But you're really telling them that why you're not right. Right? Because you're preparing the answers for your weaknesses. Do you see that? That's an example of lack-based action, fear-based action. The inspired person would do this. You learn about the company and the things you love about it, what they do, and then how you will be such an amazing fit because you love and adore what they do. You love what they're about. It aligns with who you are. Do you see that? You're taking action. You're taking action. You're looking them up on the, on the internet. You're looking up what they're all about because you love it. Because you want, to, you want to demonstrate why you love them and why you're aligned with them and how exciting it is to be a part of that. That's love-based. And then there's, then there's living and taking action in the end. Here, it's identity-based. You love for the, short, short, for the fun of it, right? You write a letter. This, is, this way, you write a letter to the hiring manager at how much you're enjoying the opportunity. I'm not saying you're sending the letter. You're writing the letter as if right? But you're writing it from your heart. You're, you're saying how much you enjoyed uh, the, the interview and how much you, you uh, and that you're loving the job now and that it's such a good fit and you're thanking them for the opportunity. You are living in the end. You've now identified with the person who not only interviewed but is in that job and is enjoying it and reveling in it. It's not fake it until you make it because you create it all. Right? It's not, it, it's not acting as if because when you act, when you assume you are it, you create it all by focused thought. Action is just to enjoy the unfolding. Action is just to enjoy that physicality of the 3D of those desires that are already created within. That really, guys, is how, inspi what, how what inspired action really means in reality creation. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification button, guys. And, and love and like. I love them too. <laughs> There's no love button. If there was a love button, love our videos, like our videos, share them with your friends, your families, and others. You can follow us on Facebook at Be Something Wonderful. You can join our, our Facebook group, The Ambassadors at Be Something Wonderful. The Beast of the Wonderful Ambassadors. You can uh, follow us on, on Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen. Very soon, these different uh, social media mediums will have different content. So it's going to be fun. Uh, it's going to be an amazing unfolding. And um, guys, you can also visit our website at TomKaren.com or BeSomethingWonderful.com. And I think some of you are asking me, well, Tom, what about you? If you guys, if you're interested in my background, you can, uh, I'm also on LinkedIn. That tells you everything you need to know about me professionally. And of course, my book will tell you about my life if, if you're interested in that. But I don't really want to do the videos on that. I want to make it about you just to answer a few of your emails and a few of your questions. Guys, until next time, with great love, with great light and infinite gratitude, this is Tom. Until next time.